Minecraft, Oblivion, Titan Quest, Diablo, and more to come. Music by Life. Alright, it's time for another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And to start today's episode off, I have these two iron pickaxes. I don't know if I was actually fully decked out with iron in the last episode, I can't remember. Anyway, lots of iron tools, yay. Uh, two iron pickaxes that are both fairly near destruction, and if we put them both in the crafting area, we can make a better one. And uh, this iron pickaxe here will have the combined durability of these two plus about 10%. I believe is how it works. So, combining your old equipment, it's helpful. It saves on a little bit of iron. Okay, we have some random glass in there. But as you can see, we only have one cooked pork chop right here. And no food that I can see. And here I'll just show the other chests to make sure that I don't have anything. Doesn't I have some rotten flesh, but... <clears throat> and an apple. It's not really what we want to be eating, though. So it looks like today... Oh, that's the remnants of my um, tutorial I just did. It should be... It'll be up before you guys are watching this one. Um, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do today is start automating this farm. I'm not sure which one I'll start with, but I'm thinking, I don't know, let's just quickly hatch these. Little baby chicken there, another little baby, oops. I may have assaulted a baby chicken, but you know, that's all, that's all good. So, um, we need food. So our options for automation are, man, my throat. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my throat seems to have been playing up for some reason. Anyway, we have the options of farming our chickens, our cows. I almost called them ducks for some reason, even though not even the chickens are ducks. Or our pigs. Hmm. I think the cows are annoying me most right now, but they're two blocks high, which would mean we'd have to make everything two blocks high, it'd be annoying. Let's do the pigs. So, I think I'm going to leave these pigs in here right now, but I'm just going to build the automatic farm over here somewhere. So, I'm going to have to chop down all these trees, and I might as well cut to when I've cleared out this area and filled in that area with some dirt. So, go! Alright, I've cleared out this little area well enough, I think. <coughs> and we're at just about, our hunger bar's just about run out, so I think it's time for us to consume our very last morsel of food. Right in front of these pigs. Oh, oh yeah, that tasted delicious. Oh. Anyway, um, it reminds me of the bacon sandwiches I made today. Oh, anyway, um, enough of that. There'll be time for food later. For now, we need to get around designing a grinder for these pigs. So I'm going to build it out of dirt for the prototype. Um, but I'll build the final one out of cobblestone, as is tradition with all things. Um... So what we want to do, there's multiple methods of killing pigs. We could drown them, we could drop them, we could set them on fire, we could put them in lava. And the method we want to use is lava. We want to kill them with lava but not set them on fire. So have them in water and touching lava so that they burn to death. Because when pigs burn to death, their pork chops come out pre-cooked and we want... Uh, McDonald's, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Some kind of bacon cheeseburger thing. We want one of those in dispenser form. So, what we need to devise, uh, and for this I'm actually going to, I already have a lava bucket, but I need a water bucket or two. So, I'll run and get those. Alright, I've got my water bucket, so I'll show you the other one in my inventory over there. Oh my god, there's an Enderman around here. Where is he? Oh! 
Oh my god! We can't panic around him in because we might end up looking them in the eyes. Holy crap. Where is it? Actually, we have a bucket of water. So it might be a good idea to aggro him. Because Endermen, if you don't know, take damage whenever they touch water. And if you look at them, they get aggroed. And they'll teleport all over the place. Trying to get you. And every time they take damage, they teleport away somewhere else. Looks like he may be gone for now. So we might be safe. That's a good way to defend against the Endermen, though. Just put a water bucket right down the middle. And if he teleports anywhere near you, because normally they teleport a little way off and run towards you, it'll touch the water, take some damage, and teleport away and keep repeating until he kills himself. Or maybe they de-aggro after they touch water. I'm not entirely sure, actually. That might be the case. Either way, that is a strong defense against Endermen. So, enough of that. Uh, we need to start designing a pig vendor. And what we want to do here, I would imagine... Okay, where is he? He's right over... Frickin' bastard. Where the hell is he? I'm trying to ignore him, but if he keeps teleporting around, it's gonna become difficult. Alright, what we want to design, we need some sort of pig transportation. Maybe we'll drop them into this area that we'll have right here. Say we have a bucket of water there. Um, maybe I should get my other bucket. Make an infinite source first. And then take that like that. Okay. Let's close this off. I think we'll be able to do this pretty simply. Um, we need to prevent the pigs from going past this spot. To do that... Hmm. I, do pigs swim up when they touch water? I'm not too sure. Let's do some testing. The gate is right here. Let's... Dig a little pit right here for the pigs to fall in. Okay, looking good, looking good. Take all my stuff, knock that out. Put some water in there, put some water in there. Okay, let's take a water block and let's let some out. Just hopefully one or two um, if they want to come out. Come on, maybe we should have some wheat for this operation. Oh, no, okay. Oh, I just realized, yeah. That's going to be turning into ice. So I'll make a little roof. It's getting more and more complicated. I just wanted to see if pigs float. Okay, that will stop all the ice from freezing over. Break that water block. Now let's go grab some wheat quickly. Okay, and... Need some pigs over there. Actually, let's try to... Come on, come on out. Come on. Oh god, okay. One at a time, please, one at a time. Come on, you piggies. Oh, come on, out, out you come. Oh, that's just my scat. Okay, hopefully it's not desynced after that. Okay, yes, we got, we got one. Let's close the gate. Yes. Let's lead him right straight into the... Okay, good. And it looks like he will float in water, actually, quite well. So now let's quickly test what happens when um okay let's wall them off there take away these water blocks and then I want to remove the rest of the water blocks okay without him being able to escape oh damn him okay like that all right that'll be good and he does float. Okay, no matter what type of water he gets into, he's going to be jumping around. It says, let's actually quickly dig a quick hole underneath him. Yes, he still floats. If a little... Oh. Okay, yes, he still floats. If a little slower. Now let's drain all the water out of that. Ah, uh, looks like we're just going to have to slaughter this one. He's a loss. Call it quits with that one. He's kaput. And our testing should be complete with that, but it's night time. Time to get back to my base. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet warmth of bed. Hopefully there's no mobs out in the morning. Um, while I'm here, I might as well cook these pork chops. Just leave them in there. No mobs! 
No mobs. Okay, we seem to be safe. Okay, we're over at our testing facility. Let's just put a roof over that water so it doesn't keep freezing over. And we need to finish filling in this. Okay, tear down this roof. Won't be needing that for now. And actually, I just realized we should probably lower this into the ground. We won't need to make a prototype or anything. We can just make it from the start. Okay, put the water in there. And I think it won't flow past... Okay, it'll float to there. Oh, this freaking... I... Why did I use the snow biome? I could have moved... Well, actually, that's not right. We could have gone over there, actually. That would have been better. But no big deal. Now... We have a way, we can easily get the pigs in here, like, or I guess it's not that easy. We'll have some kind of system to get pigs from wherever we keep them. The holding chamber, the barn, into here. That'll be for later. We get them into here, they float down this water stream. They should be able to survive, even if it's covered up like that. But if not, I'll just add higher walls on the side like that and they won't be able to get out. So regardless... That will be fine. Now all we need to work out is how to... Oh wait, yes, that's right, they float. So we can... That means we can dig down here. Have the items going... Actually, they're two blocks long, aren't they? Yes, I think they are. Well, that's good. Okay, let's, let's do some quick testing with this. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, get the wheat out. Oh man, this could be a big breakthrough for us. Come on, come on through. One of you. One one pig, please. Just one pig. That's all I need. Come on, piggy. Oh, shit. Okay. I fell into the testing area. Get out of there. Okay. Dig that out. And if I'm right, he won't be able to get into the hole. No matter how much he tries. If these frickin' pigs would get out of the way. Okay. Oh, he does get into the hole. What a dirty bugger. That's irritating. I guess that's a failed... We can shift and just fall off that, by the way. That's something to be noted. We can be shifting and fall onto fences. So... Man. Okay, testing number two. Test number two is a failure. Cut our losses right now. Um... I suppose they probably won't fall down there anyway. Because they want to swim up. Hmm, I don't think this is going to be 100% at all. Now let's just put, how far does lava flow? Four blocks? It'll be one, two, three, four, okay. So we want to put a wall here, a little wall here. Obviously something to stop the pigs from escaping, you know, that it'll all be covered all the way along. And we want to not let the lava go rampant. We want to put the lava in there. And I believe that... Oh, no, it won't be. No, it won't be. Um, I'm dumb. Um, how on earth are we going to do this? How on earth? We need to get them into here. I know that they'll keep swimming up. They keep jumping up. Keep jumping. But if we put lava there, it's just going to flow all the way over here. Into the water. Maybe... What we can do is go like this. Put that there. Dig this out one further. Let's just get rid of that because it's only there for show anyway. Maybe we can dig that out one further. Have a sign right there. Um, I've got to go build a sign. Alright, now before we put down this sign, which was actually a leftover sign from ages ago, I would like us to honor the memory of testing pig number one. He was a good pig. Maybe even the best of pigs. He would have wanted us to eat his cooked corpse. <gasps> oh, 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 so delicious. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> Let's get back to business. No time to waste. Let's put that lava there and we'll put a sign right there. Thanks for whoops visiting 
McNerds. Damn, it doesn't fit there. McNerds. Hearts. And that'll be a nice little message for the the pig's last dying moments. And now what we want to do here is dig a hole there, put our bucket of water there, and then have the items run off, you know, wherever they're going. Um, down to this item collection pick, which is right here. And hopefully, this will work. Now what we need to do is make a transport system to move the pigs from their pen to the McNerds restaurant. Okay, let's probably, we should probably, uh, oh, what? Okay, I thought something had happened. Um, actually, that water, I think, could still freeze over, even though it's covered by lava. I kind of want to cover up this lava just so that we don't end up killing ourselves on it. We need to make our transport system. I'm actually running out of dirt in my inventory, so I'll go back and get some more of that. Alright, I'm back with enough dirt to feed an army. So hopefully, uh, my theory is that they they can fit under here, and I'm pretty sure that theory is correct. But I have been incorrect in theories. In fact, you saw a theory that I was incorrect with just today, when I thought the pigs couldn't fall down a one-by-one -one hole. I guess that works in our favor right here, though. So hopefully... Our pig farm should be functional at this point. Now let's get the old bait out here. And let a few pigs into the processing unit. Actually, let's just let that one in. And I just realized I didn't put any way to push them in here. So we'll put some water down there. And he should flow relatively far. I'm not exactly sure how far. Till there. Oh. Don't, no, oh, stop, get get back in there. You little bugger, okay. Okay, testing pig number three will die as well. Um, I completely forgot about the fact that we actually need water in this system. So let's, what do we do, what do we do? To extend the water, let's use this method. Okay, because I don't want to lower this, lower that crap if we have to raise it, or raise this or anything. What we're going to do, I'm going to need some, or well, a stair. Alright, so instead of stairs, I actually got some half slabs. They make themselves in batches of six, so that's all we could do. And now, just to show you what's going on, water flows down here. It goes down at this point, point. we want to put a half slab at that point. And, I think, is this right? I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I can't remember how I did this last time. Um, and then we want to... Oh! We want to lower the water there. Have empty space here so that we can put a sign here. So that the water flows like that and they can run down there and then we put more water there and then we're going to have to actually have another sign there. Oh! I didn't think this through. I should have gotten another sign. Okay, so we've got another sign here. Didn't think we'd be using so many signs, but that's the way water works. Put the sign there, and then we can put the water here. And the idea here is that this half slab stops the water from flowing down. This sign stops it from black, flowing back, so it'll only flow forward. And this sign stops it from flowing too far. So we'll put that there. And in this way, the pigs should flow along there. Like that's obvious how that works. Flow along here, get pushed onto this half slab, and there'll be no stop at all in that entire thing. So let's close it, whoops, close it up here. Get out the wheat, let another pig into Mc, McNerds. Alright, he's into the system. We can sort of see him glitching out here. Going down, drop down onto the half slab, away he goes. Oh shit, I didn't cover that up. Okay. Let's cover it mostly up just so we can see through. Oh, I don't think we need to cover that up. Um, let's uncover that so we can actually see what he's doing. He's trying to jump back, but he's making slow progress down towards the lava. And there he goes, there he goes. And he died. I'm not sure if he dropped anything. I don't think so. Let's 
Maybe add some inventory space. Oh, put the pork chops down there so we can see how many we have. We have two. I think we may have already had those from test pig number three. Um, running out of pigs to test on, though. Let's let another one into the farm. Let him go on his merry way down. Let's try to leash him over faster. If that works through that. Yeah, it seems to work. Okay, and then hopefully it'll work fine. See, I'm not sure if that lava is actually just burning the pork chops. They might be dropping pork chops and then... And then, um... Just having them burn up in the lava. So let's make some more pigs before we run out. Uh, I've got plenty of wheat with which to do so, so it shouldn't be any trouble. Yeah, as you can see, a fair amount of wheat from that farm, and that was just what I did in the last video. I don't think I've farmed it since then. So let's just make these pigs, children, close your eyes, have some nice, relaxing time in front of the television. Um, now that we've got a few baby pigs... Oh, we've got one sheep, uh, one pig still in love. There we go. We're in lust. Wait, I'm sure we had one. Oh, maybe I clicked the same one. Come on. Come on, you pigs. None of them want to... He's the black pig. And I don't mean that in a racist way. I mean that in a black sheep kind of way. Let's just open this up. Let that one pig through. Close it up behind him. See if this works. And I'm pretty sure if this dude doesn't give us any pork chops, it'll be fairly conclusive that that lava is burning. The pork chops. Come on. Go ahead. Die. Burn to death. That's it. That's it. Okay, we got cooked pork chops out of that. So, I'm not too sure if it was just burning the pork chops from the other ones, or if it was... If they just didn't happen to drop any pork chops. It's a perfectly valid possibility. Let's try to get these baby pigs out of the road. We don't want to be, you know, slaughtering baby pigs. We'll slaughter their mothers first. It's psychological damage. That really just warms me inside. Get, oh, get out of the way, you baby pig. Come on. No, no baby pigs allowed. Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go into the pen amongst all the riffraff and then make it out alive. Oh, yes. That's me, Ultima Nerd PI. Survives even a pen full of pigs, which can be deadly. A pen full of pigs could probably kill a man. Oh my god, there's all these baby pigs. Um, I'll cut to when I get some more frickin' pigs in here. Actually, what we could do is this. Get some water. I love water. Water is amazing. Let's place it over, way over in the back here. And that'll push them over that way. Then we get some more water. Because, I mean... What do you do if you... Well, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm just... I'm so lame at the moment. Because of my Fable Quest fail recently. Hmm, we need more water. Definitely need more water. Let's grab two buckets of water this time. Just for future-proofing. Go along the end here. And that's... Do, do, did not need the two buckets. Um, do, 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 there we go. All the pigs should be down by the end now. And that pig, son of a bitch, is gonna die. Um, now let's get a pig in here. Come on, pigu. Yes. Okay, not the baby pig. Let's watch this pig's progress as he comes out the end. Come on. What the? Hey! Alright, you're dead. You're dead now, punk. Um, okay. This water is allowing the pigs to escape. Which is not good. Um, so let's remove it. That's gone against my plan. Did not know that they could jump over fences when they're in water. It kind of counteracts the entire deal where I got those pigs to mate as well because then they just escaped. That one didn't give us any cooked pork chops I don't think. If it even made it through I didn't see it go through. Just, just kill these pigs. Kill them. Kill them. Yep, they're dead. Okay. They escaped the pen. They will die. Now let's just 
chick on this freaking pig. Yeah, there's no pig in there. Way to go. Nobody knows. It escaped. It found a way to get out of my system. So, man, it's taking forever. I didn't expect pig farming to be so difficult. Oh, and we can't kill them all. If we kill them all, we screwed. Oh, so frustrating. I don't know if that's in the right place for a torch, but... Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm just going to have to breed these pigs. And then... Like, lots, because we're just about out of pigs now. And cut to when I've got some more. Alright, so I decided, uh, almost immediately as I had stopped recording... No, I just started again. Um, that this episode's gone on so long already, we're going to have to cut it into two episodes. And in the second episode... We'll probably link up the cows to their own thing and the chickens and probably not the sheep because we'll just share them because we can have different colored ones. But anyway, and the chickens might require their completely own separate system that I've got in mind for them. Anyway, that'll round it off for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode, hit like. If you want to join more, subscribe. Check out facebook.com slash ultimate nerd, own tv slash ultimate nerd. Links are in the description. Till next time.